You got him. Yeah. Oh, oh. Shit. No. Oh, shit. You got him. That's awesome. Nice job. Holy cow. That was impressive. Uh, I had oh. to reach in. Holy oh, cow. I have never seen anyone do it like that before. Oh, boy. Oh, man. Well, got holy him. cow. Got a little wet, but I got him. There we go. <laughs> Second fish. What do you think of that, doggies? <laughs> All right. Man, he was just down there gnawing on it, huh? Yeah, he was just, Forever. it looked like the line was just coming straight up. Yeah, he didn't, uh, he, he didn't move for a long time. Wow. I thought for sure there wasn't a fish on there. Oh, that's, that's it. When, <laughs> when I saw you set the hook, I'm like, oh, the line is way too straight. He's gonna be good. Oh, I got a mess oh there. shoot! Yeah, that was worth it. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> nice. <laughs>
So this was Scott's idea. He thinks, you know, because of the creek, time of year and stuff like that, everything might point to some hike. I, I think so. I mean, it makes sense. We went out the other day and we did, he caught like five. Like a couple of big dollies and everything. Oh, really? Yeah, we got in some nice dollies. Wow. Real nice dollies. Yeah. I've never seen one. Everybody told me that they're uh, they're yeah. really beautiful colors. And yeah, stuff like they're that. like a brook trout. Oh, really? It's a cousin to the brook trout. They're all oh. in the char family. Okay. And, uh, yeah. But we used to work really hard to catch kind of medium-sized brook trout back home. So to come up here and catch a nice dolly varden right. is such a treat. No, you know, right. Like. So what are you doing there? Um, we're putting a heavy weight on so that we can definitively feel bottom. When it thumps bottom, we know. Uh, basically just checking to see what depth we're working with here. It's pretty really shallow. Real. Yep, we wait till it hits the bottom. And then I like to reel right down to the surface of the water. So then I have, this is what we're working with. And okay. uh, obviously we're seeing some weeds, so we want to be up off the bottom but we're looking at what seven that's, seven feet deep that's about perfect that's just about right huh yeah and they're gonna be over the weeds so we'll try to fish them i don't know maybe midway between about oh. three and a half feet off the bottom and, okay because you know they're always looking up right yep always yeah yeah i always had a tendency i'd even sometimes depending on the depth i'd always put mine only like a foot and a half or two feet below the ice because their eyes are looking up and looking forward so and you want it right below that hole because that hole's like a can light, right? It's right. shining down this blast of light into a dark lake. So Perfect. in my mind, it seems like if you're hanging that bait right below the beam of light, right. it just seems intuitive that that would be a, yeah. a good spot. But we're always ready to adjust too if, if things, if the situations dictate. Well, we're lucky. We both got trucks, so if we got a, too many pike to haul, <laughs> I think we'll be okay. <laughs> That'd be a great problem to have. Yeah. channel it's a little sketch right now uh, there's only about two and a half inches of ice here because there must be a current so I'm gonna quick set up and get away from this one because there's not much ice here and it gets better as Scott went that direction so we're gonna get some tip up set up here and uh, yeah could be a hot spot Pops there, man. Hard to find those ones anymore. Yeah, I've had these since I was like 16. I actually brought them all with me. The beaver dams. Yeah. Yeah, I got a bunch of them for Christmas and my birthday. And nice. I never let them go. I don't, compared to the, the plastic polar ones. Yeah. They're just, I fished with those before, walleye fishing and gets to 10 below or something, you get a flag or something, you go to grab it, it freezes to the ice and it breaks in half. Yeah. And it's just, I'm doing three pieces. Is that okay? Yeah. about normal or yeah. Or do you yep. do smaller? Or? I usually do two, but I think my herring are smaller than yours too. You should see the ones in my truck. Oh yeah? They're like for halibut apparently. Oh I, nice. I didn't know it was an option. Well, big bait, big fish, right? That's what they say. maybe I got tangled around something. Right. right. I've never had that happen. No. 
Oh, I'm glad you're able to make it unhappen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I bet I've had this ice scooper for 20 years. No kidding. Oh yeah, we used to live for ice fishing. Then you have kids and jobs and everything changes. And life happens. So we moved to Alaska. Now you can dust off that. I know. The and Wisconsin gear and well, Phyllis good. was actually she made the statement yesterday that she's proud of me for doing this today. Oh yeah, well that's I, always nice to hear, huh? I'm not the guy that ever leaves work for anything. Really? Yeah, I I need to get over that. And <laughs> she's made the statement several times. We didn't come here to work 60 hours a week. But she's right. But I've I'm, had to remind myself of that before too. Like, yeah. I could have I could have worked as hard in the states. <laughs> right. Ooh. Oh yeah. Oh, wow. That's quite that's different. That's a drop off. Yeah, it is. Dang. So, well, it'll be interesting to try a little bit of everything. Yeah. So it would be the furthest possible away. I don't see the bobber. Dogs do not open. Ooh, it went out, huh? Hanging yeah. out? Yeah, mine's going to. No, I don't feel anything. He spit it, huh? Yeah. He took her out for a ways. Quite a ways. Huh? I've been keeping an eye on him too. I don't know. Maybe he just hit it with some gusto and then spit it, huh? Yeah. Oh, he did take a bunch of line. Is like there a fish in the I don't know. I probably better start rolling this up before I make a huge mess. <laughs> Well, second flag and I lost him. I had him hooked for a while, but he got away. Well, it seems to be that time of day where they're hitting more and more here, so we'll uh, keep after it. We've caught two or three here in the last half hour. That's kind of good news. Let's do the long walk back. Well, 
Here I am jigging. Um, I've had several bites here and I finally caught my first one. Nice. He's not huge, but he's a pike. They seem to be really biting. I missed like three or four bites here up until now. So it is kind of fun. I had the drag set up for uh, like two to four pound test. <laughs> I was like, man, this thing is really fighting because I can't make any headway. Well, I put 12 pound test on for today. I needed to give it a couple of turns and then it did just fine. Yeah, it's working kind of fun. I haven't seen any flags here lately. Definitely getting bites here on the jig. So I'll keep it going. Oof. Boy, this one's fighting. Holy cow. This one's much more of a fight. Ooh. He took off some drag. Well, I think we're going to be calling it quits here pretty quick. The sun's starting to get kind of low. Doesn't look like it behind me, but it is. We've got a lot of tip-ups to pick up and stuff, so. Pretty awesome day fishing, a little better than the first, huh? I'll fish here for a little more, see if I can't catch another one. All right, well, this ends a day of, I'd say, fairly successful fishing. We did okay. So, what do you guys think? We made us work, but we came up with some <laughs> Yeah, we did. Yep, seven above the ice and a yep. few lost opportunities, but a good day, beautiful yeah. day. Yeah, beautiful day. Again, thank you guys very much for bringing me out here too. I appreciate it. Yeah, thanks so, for fishing. Fun, right, thank Great you. fishing with you. Thank you.